In Maya, there are many ways in which you can select objects. The most basic way is to click the Select Tools icon or press the Q key and then click on the object. You can do this because Object Mode, which you can see in the status line, is on by default. The other modes are Hierarchy Mode and Component Mode. A quick way to toggle between the object and component modes is to press F8. You can set the selection style for the select tool in its tool settings. Just double click its icon to open it. You can use marquee, which is the default, or drag mode. In drag mode, you just paint the mouse over anything and it gets selected, which is especially useful for selecting components. With Marquee, anything the box touches is selected. If you want to move the Marquee area without redrawing it, press the Alt key and drag it to a new position. You can also use the Lasso tool to drag around objects when a Marquee rectangle isn't the best shape to use. Anything that the Lasso touches is selected. You can press the Shift key to add objects to the selection, but the Shift key also toggles the selection if you click on objects that are already selected. If you don't want to accidentally deselect objects while you're adding to the selection, press Ctrl plus Shift and click or drag. To remove objects from the selection, press the Ctrl key as you click or drag over them. When you select multiple objects, you may notice that the last one selected is always green, while the others are white. The last selected object is known as the key or lead object. Maya changes the color to let you know the order of selection, which it uses for certain operations. For example, when you select objects to create a hierarchy, the green object will be the parent. If you like, you can change this color in the Color Settings window. Click the Active tab and customize the lead object color. To invert the selection of objects, press Ctrl plus Shift plus I or choose Select Inverse. And to isolate selected objects, press Ctrl plus 1 or click the Isolate Selected icon in a view panel or choose Show, Isolate, Select, View Selected. To select all selectable objects in the scene, press Ctrl plus Shift plus A, or choose Select All. Press Alt plus D, or choose Deselect All, to deselect all objects, or simply click or drag in an empty area of the scene. To select all objects of only that type, such as NURB surfaces, Choose an option from the Select All by Type menu. The Object Modes icons also let you filter the selection by type. You can click the Object Type filters to decide exactly what you can or can't select with the Select tools. By default, all options are on, so if you didn't want to be able to select joints in a character, for example, just click its icon to turn it off. You can also right-click on the icon to get more specific on each filter's selections, such as not being able to select NURB surfaces objects. When you can't select scene elements in a view, you can use the outliner to select their nodes. For example, if an object is hidden, select its node and press H to display it in the view again. In a View Panels Show menu, you can also turn off the selection highlighting completely and then use the Outliner to select nodes for the objects. 